Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy D.O.M.O. Don Muto back with another video. Yes, sir. Look, today we're watching um, Prim's Hood Cinema, What's Happening, and Jason's Lyric. Now, this is this is a hood classic that I never really watched before. Now that I think I watched every other movie after he did, I believe. Except probably a couple, but this one I don't have no recollection of at all. I know I heard this movie before. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it, clips of it maybe here and there, but never really, you know what I'm saying, really sat down and watched the whole movie. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm going in this one blind for the first time. So let's get into it. It starts off with the main character, Jason, on this Greyhound bus. He starts narrating all about his life, of course. It's cool. a hood movie. That's every hood movie. Mad Dog taught us about magic. And we went there once a week and just well, he taught him like stared this, at the blue skies. <laughs> Man. Y'all asking for it, bro. Look at these niggas being all happy and shit at the start of a hood movie. Y'all tripping, bro. You know something's gonna happen to you. But for now, they super happy. Some airplanes fly by and spray these niggas in the fucking face with some chemicals or something. I hope that's just water, bro. It's a few years later now and Jason's getting older. Looking like Richie from Family Matters now and shit. Mad Dog <laughs> went to war in Vietnam and it messed him up real bad in the head. Made him crazy or something. It might have been these f***ing airplane fumes, dog. Your ass probably got lead poison or something. This nigga name is Mad Dog. He probably was a little bit crazy before the war, right? You don't get a nickname like that by being regular. I'm pretty sure Vietnam didn't help though. Also, his leg got blown off too. That's important. Mama said. When he lost his leg, he lost his mind. But I wanted to love him. Come here, give your daddy a hug. Come here. You know we're gonna be a family again. Josh. <laughs> Where the fuck you find a water gun that look like a real gun without the orange part? I always wanted that for years, bro. Anyway, Mad Dog scaring the <laughs> shit out of these little kids bitch. now. I mean, Jason's cool with him. His brother Josh, on the other hand, is not amused by this shit at all. Why they kill it just like the, the older version of the actor, nigga? What the fuck? That nigga related to that nigga? You got some money in your pocket. Later that night, Mad Dog is turning up in his little ass Spider Man 2 ass apartment. It's real sad, actually. This nigga crazy as fuck. Forrest Whitaker, good actor, man. He all star. Mad Dog, go home. Go. Oh, God, go. I got some flowers. I got flowers. I don't want whatever it is you got. Take the goddamn flowers. Go and say it. Go and say it. Go and say it. It's me. Say it. It's me. Say it. Nobody want them sweaty ass flowers, Mad Dog. <laughs> Why'd you brush your damn hair? You trying to be romantic? That's what women like. Mad Dog starts going crazy and slapping the mom around. Josh goes and grabs the gun to defend his mom. And that's the end of Mad Dog. I'll say that. We flash forward to grown up Jason and he's still in this same ass twin size bed he grew up in. How old is this nigga, bro? If you don't get your old ass out of here, Jason Lyric. He's driving out the next day to go pick up his brother, Josh, from jail. He's played by Bokeem Woodbine, AKA Can't Get Right. This is some good ass casting, bro. He definitely looked like Forrest Whitaker's son. Plus, both these kid versions of them look pretty spot on too. Yeah. That's a great job, whoever job that was. You know, and sometimes I do hate that with the movies, like when like the kid version look nowhere close. And I know it's just acting, whatever. Nowhere near close as like the 
like the grown up version. You know how when movie do the transition, but that shit, I hate that shit. I don't know why. <laughs> Ew, this fucking 90s white strip club music. What is the soundtrack, bro? I don't like it. Anyway, Jason takes Josh home, and Josh says he's finally going to get right and change his life around. Right. Josh is the dark-skinned evil brother. Jason's the light-skinned good brother. That's not a cool movie. Why you always do that? They get back to the hood, and they see all their old friends again. Funny local crackhead, of course. Doing a funny dance and everything, hood movie. Say, say, do a dance for me, man. There's a mouse in there. Eddie Griffin in the movie also. He plays like a wacky pimp character, comic relief type character. I'm not sure if he's actually a pimp, but it's just funny pimp energy. It's not funny. Oh. You remember your old girl when you went in? Wanna smell her pussy? Uh -huh. <laughs> they go out and celebrate, but Josh gets too drunk. His mom is trying to throw a surprise party for him, but he starts acting like Mad Dog and he ruins the whole damn thing. It's pretty sad. Hey man, God damn a party, man. Dead bitch in that Josh's mom gets him a job at the Krusty Krab or some shit. She works there too, I think. Jason works at some TV store and he's about to get promoted to assistant manager pretty soon. Okay. Sign him up on the extended warranty clothing, all right? Heard the news today. They got a position open in Dallas. No shit. No shit. Yeah, let me tell you about shoot, shoot that travel and it stick to you and it grows in your mind, it grows in your mind and, and make everything nasty. You can't wipe it away, you can't rub what it away. What the fuck? Who is this? <laughs> what is this transition, bro? <laughs> I thought this was local funny crackhead at first. Nah, this is a completely different nigga, though. That would have made more sense, actually. Y'all should have made him the same person. That would have been less jarring, I think. But now the mom is here and she's sad. She got fired or something because can't get right stole ten dollars out her register. Why the huh? fuck would you give up? For seven years I've been assistant manager. But in seven years my register never come up short. My child took my seven years for ten dollars. They fired. They fired you for ten dollars? That's crazy. You've been there for seven years. First of all, why the hell would you give your son that just got out of prison a job? At, okay. That is her son. Never mind. I take that back. Nah, fuck all that, nigga. Send that nigga somewhere else. I wouldn't trust that nigga as far as I can go. Let's go. Where are you trying? Come on. How you gonna steal from your own mama? Can't you do right? Like who? Like you? Say so what you gonna do now, boy? Build another airplane? Mm. Fucking playing with me, bitch. Oh. Oh. I don't have those dreams no more, Jay. It's just like garlic. It helps keep the ghosts away. Uh, no, that's vampires, dumbass. What's wrong with this nigga? He really can't get right, bro. Jason goes to work the next day and he tells his boss that he can't take that assistant manager job in Dallas. He can't leave his mom and his little brother because they need him real bad. Mama need my help. And that's what I'm gonna give her. Mister, you like my plane? Oh, I never flown in a plane before. Sometimes you don't need a plane to fly. Bad, What's that even mean? Are you trying to go get high or something, bitch? That's what's up. <laughs> she has good love interest, bro. Hell yeah. Jada Pinkett Smith in the movie, as you can see. She looking pretty good, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I definitely I'm see why she was like the it girl of the 90s. Uh, this accent is atrocious, though. I can't believe it. It's very nice to know, Jason. No, I just thought maybe, you know, one night we can get together. Well... It's meant to be, you'll find me. Oh, Okeem Woodbine goes back to selling drugs or whatever like he used to do. Boy, you hot as shit in the middle of the street. 
playing mini games with the junkies and shit. No wonder your ass keep going to jail. You don't even care, nigga. Tommy boy, man, ain't you tired of that nickel and diamond? Why you got something better? Watch your back, it's the bro, boy. Get that shit out of my face. Yo, toss me. Toss me a phone. <laughs> Whoa, what? I know he ain't get triggered by some weed. Then immediately reach for a 40. Like, alcohol destroyed your entire family, cuz. <laughs> Plus, that 40 probably hot as shit. That shit been sitting in the hot sun in the car all day. How long has that shit been sitting there? Hey, what's up, girl? Oh my god. Welcome to my, don't touch <laughs> my head. They finish drinking their piping hot 40s and they go to this ghetto ass soul food restaurant now. It looked pretty dangerous. So you know the food probably bracken. Jada Pinkett Smith is a waitress here also. She's getting harassed by this group of dudes when her brother comes and stands up for her, I guess, kinda. Also, this is Tretch from Naughty by Nature, by the way. He in the movie. Is there any actual real country niggas in this movie? No, Jim. You absolutely correct. Maybe she spread her legs a little more often. She could chill the fuck out. What's up with his hair? Shut the fuck up. Hey, little girl, you feeling all right? No, I'm all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Jason, let me get one of them titties to go. <laughs> a side of ass. You said if it was meant to be, I'd find you. Well, I found you. Well, let me get you a oh. Well, I guess what I meant to be. She bullshit. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Can't you find somebody else to harass? Harass? I thought I was being charming. Just want to see you again, that's all. Well, when? When the sun next leaves footprints across the sky. Bitch, what? Why is she fucking talking like Langston Hughes? Do you like him or not? You want to fucking go on a date? Y'all be playing games, man. This is really how it be sometimes. This episode of Princess Cinema is sponsored wow, by Ship shit, Station. Sometimes we do stuff the hard way when we really don't have to. Station. Make ship happen. I bet. Jada Pinkett Smith tells Jason to meet her at some so abandoned close. ass railroad tracks. What kind of meeting place is that? She trying to set you up, bro. I wouldn't go to that shit. You tripping. This nigga shows up to the date also wearing a fishnet vest and some work boots. Oh, this nigga really tripping. You a country ass nigga. But no, in all seriousness, why are they meeting here though? Like it's normal. He followed the bus back to your house. That's not romantic. That's high key a red flag. Y'all should be meeting somewhere in public. Jada Pink is making this dumbass nigga climb up a two-story obstacle course now for some coochie. Yeah, I feel like this is symbolic of what the whole movie is, Loki. He makes it to the top and they talking and having a date now. Wow, she really got an actual mullet going on though. She must have been wearing a hat or something at first. I just noticed this. I don't like it. Uh -oh. <laughs> <Richard>. <laughs> And again, these accents, bro, they putting way too much stank on this shit or something. I'm no expert, but they shit sounds very weird to me. This nigga talk like bro, man. I ain't never really watched the sun set before. <laughs> They go on more and more dates now. Jason Lyric rented a city bus for one of the dates. He says his man hooked it up for him. Uh, can you explain that some more? How the fuck did you pull that off? Your man's is a bus driver? Okay. That don't mean he get to take the damn buses whenever he feel like it, yeah, right? That is I don't weird. know. Bus driver niggas, get in the comments, please. They have a romantic dinner inside this haunted ass abandoned bus station. Why don't y'all go on regular dates, bro? <laughs> it's probably rats in here. Why are all y'all dates in these scary ass locations just to get some cool shots or whatever give me a break movie They go to some random field and make sweet love in this itchy ass looking patch of grass. It's probably ticks out here and some more shit. They don't even care, country ass niggas. Y'all some country ass niggas, man. Oh, okay, never mind. It's beautiful flowers now. It's in their mind. 
That's romantic. I take it back. This nigga can't get right. Super tripping at the carnival now. He gone off this cheap ass vodka and he's getting worse and worse every day. He's pulling out guns on circus clowns and shit. Go buy some bitches, man. That's why you're not happy. You just got out of jail. I ain't see you with a girl one time, bro. True. You're not even trying. Fake Lorenz Tate introduces Josh to his team of bank robbers. Tretch and this other dude are some bank robbers. They all about to team up and rob a bank together. Jada Pinkett overhears their plan, of course. She's the master of robbing banks. She probably went in on this shit, low key. True, true. She Josh, is. I want you to cover the guy right here. We in there at 9.30. Not 9.29, not 9.31, 9.30. Jada Pinkett runs and tells Jason all about the robbery plan. Jason wants to go and stop it, but Jada Pinkett says she don't give a fuck and they should just run away together. He's gonna rob a bank tomorrow with them. With them? Who's them? Jason, why wait? Why not tomorrow? You think you man enough to rob a bank? That bitch, what's... I know no one else around here believes in me, but I always thought when it came down to it, you. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so glad I watched this movie because the, the country action is terrible. I only, like, this is shit terrible. What? What you waiting on, say? Oh, Come on! Country nigga, let me know if, it, if, they, if they doing a good job. Man. Look at the time! Hey, fuck, man, I told you he was hard Why did y'all not take his gun? That's on y'all, bro. What? You let the security guard keep his damn gun? For what? That's some terrible bank robbing. Tretch and the gang are super angry at Josh now. They tie him up and cut him with a chainsaw and shit. I'm not showing none of that. I'm saying though, it's not all his fault, bro. You weren't paying attention and the guard almost shot you. Why did he have a gun still? Whatever, this nigga was doing too much though. I'll give you that. Give me what? She told my brother about the bank robbery, man. That's why I was late. Your brother fucking my sister? I'ma fuck both y'all fools. They let him go for some reason, and he goes back home all beat up. He in the shower screaming like Frankenstein and shit while Jason cleans him up. Why y'all even let this nigga go? Like, what is the plan? To lure his brother out or whatever? I'm sure he's not that hard to find. I can't believe you let him go. Of course he gonna come back and smoke you at the end. I don't even think that's a spoiler saying that. This for my brother. Ah! Jason beats up Tretch and then he goes to see Jada Pinkett Smith. They supposed to be running away together today, but now Jason gotta stay home and fix all this mess. He a good light skinned son. Also, it turns out Jason actually shot Mad Dog after all. What a twist, right? I honestly forgot all about the Mad Dog plotline. This movie way <laughs> too long, bro. Let's just skip to the end. <laughs> You think he better than me? You think he better than me? Josh, all we gotta do now is wait for Alonzo. You ain't gotta go nowhere, man. I got nothing, man. What the fuck? I didn't mean. I didn't mean. Jada Pinkett survives and Josh <laughs> himself. They made it out of the hood and now they headed to their new paradise in Dallas, Texas. And they selling TVs. It's a happy ending kinda, y'all. <laughs>
Yeah, I think this is a good movie. Well, I like the movie, let me say that. I don't know if it's necessarily a good movie. It's pretty cliche at times. It's got a lot of melodrama and unrealistic ass dialogue. It kind of feels too artsy almost sometimes. It's like a fucking streetcar named Desire or some shit. It's supposed to be all country and poetic like that or something. I get what they're doing. It's just pretty cheesy sometimes though. The relationship between the brothers was the best part of the movie. It was super believable. Yeah. Okeem Woodbine gave a crazy ass good performance here. Shout out to this nigga. He really did feel like the ghost of Mad Dog, kind of. The setting was dope. It was super authentic. You don't get a lot of Texas hood movies for some reason. I'm tired of seeing yeah. the same two hood settings in every movie. It's cool to see other hoods get some shine for a change. The romance parts, I really didn't care for. They have some cute moments. Like, like you do very... feel bad when Jada Pinkett gets shot. Hold but on. overall, that was kind of the least interesting part of the movie. It's still pretty good though. It's a classic. Go and watch it if you've never seen it. That's it though. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm never Make sure you it. like it. That does something <laughs> for the video, probably. I don't think so. Follow me on Twitch for some more funny content. Right. We be watching movies and stuff on there. Shout out to all my Patreon. All right. I'm not gonna watch this movie. Um, the shit looks boring. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all like this movie, that's cool. Like the movie, the movie don't look terrible. It's just I don't know. I'm I'm never gonna watch it. I haven't. I never watched it. And never will watch it. Probably not. Um, you know my uh, the Will Bond dude. He, he he he's a great actor. The shit looks fake deep. Like I'm not about to waste my time. But you know what I'm saying. But shout out to Prince Hood. This is a great video by him though. And um and I catch y'all next time. Peace.